Hey everybody, this is Hadrian. Thank you for watching. Let's play some more Subnautica in our Into the Locker series where we finally have a Seamoth. I warned everyone um, in the last episode, and I just want to reiterate that warning. Right now it's fine because I'm moving in a straight line, but I have never, ever, 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 ever really gotten uh, motion sick when playing games, racing games of any kind, but this thing right here has the ability to make me a little queasy. So, for those of you who are more prone to motion sickness, don't say I didn't warn you. When I am flying the sea moth around, or rather when I'm swimming it around? You know what I mean. When I'm piloting the sea moth, just be aware. Be aware that motion sickness can be a factor. Caution. Passing safe depth. Alright, so crush depth is 200 meters. I can barely explore this zone, actually. But at least we can briefly look at it for this for this particular moment, and then I'm going to have to work towards being able to upgrade the Seamoth to where I can do a little bit more earnest exploring. But one thing I can do is I can get out of the Seamoth and I can pick up stuff in these shale outcroppings should be pretty nice resources so at least that's something I can do while I'm down here let's have a look around and see if I spot any others it's a shame that I can't explore more there's one Just a limestone outcropping, unfortunately. Well, it doesn't actually appear to be. Hey, okay. Well, maybe, maybe this is something. Let's have a look. Nope, just titanium. Doesn't actually appear to be much I can do. I got all excited about exploring the deep fungi biome that we found, but we can't quite go that deep yet. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this thing to really fly around the um, the seafloor and look for pieces of technology that I have not yet scanned. And this is where the motion sickness is going to is going to affect some of you. I do apologize in advance for those of you watching who might find this not as watchable because I'm going to be moving around somewhat quickly. You know, just looking for different pieces that I can harvest. Limestone. Okay. So nice to finally have this thing. Just qualitatively changes the Subnautica playing experience. Pissing off the the sea lion right now. I think that's what they're called, the sea lions. Ah! I either just hit a sea lion or I hit something else. <laughs> but I hit something. Alright, just need to keep looking for any pieces of technology. any pieces of technology at all that, uh... Hey, there's one. Okay, I hear you. But I can't do anything about you right now. Alright, so he is... Right now... Oh my god, he's right on top of it. Come on, dude. Come on. Go away. You don't need to be here. You really don't. What's the shadow? That's the shadow. Hey, buddy. Awesome. We got a reef back above us. Okay. I'm going to try and go for this. Wish me luck. Modification station fragment. See, I think I already unlocked this. Nope. That's what I needed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ooh. Oh, actually, okay, okay, perfect. That's amazing. That, 
Oh, damn. Just ran into the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. My bad. You're a gentle creature of the sea, and I'm just running my submarine into you. All right, we're going to head back to base camp, because the modification station... I, I didn't realize that that's what that was, but this is going to allow us to craft some much, much better equipment. Thankfully. It's so nice that we can coast this rapidly through the water now. Of course, we have to keep an eye on the health and the energy level. We'll need to build new power cells if we ever... Uh, if we ever back out. Um... If we ever run out, rather, of, of energy for the... Where's the base camp? Did I fly over the base camp? Oh, there's base camp. <laughs> All right. If I ever run out of energy in the um, Seamoth, then I will Welcome definitely need Captain. to build a new power cell. All right. Got a lot of metal salvage. Anything I need to pick up in here? Not just yet. We definitely need to make that modification station as soon as possible, and I can get some really nice new equipment with that. Most of the components for which I should, hopefully, maybe, perhaps, already have. So, modification station, what do you need? A wiring kit and a computer chip. I believe I have everything I need for that. You see what just happened with the screen just now? That was, that was weird. Oh, wait, no, I was looking at this screen. That explains it. All right. I thought I had my PDA open. Okay, a wiring kit and a computer chip. So that's going to require silver. So basically three pieces of silver and some table coral. So that's the main thing I could go outside for. So let's take care of that. Table coral. Table coral. Table coral. You are there. Perfect. Come here. Come here. Got it. And then what else did I need? I think I needed to get some silver out. So that'll be my next order of business. I've got plenty of silver in my locker. Oh, but my inventory is full. Well, I'll tell you what I can do, though. I can put this in there. Yeah, okay. Should be all the space I need. Four pieces of silver. All right, let's 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 take care of this, because this will help eat up some inventory space as well. Electronics, computer chip. That'll eat up three inventory spaces. Uh, let's turn four spaces into one. And then a wiring kit. Perfect. So that's, I think, I think that's all we need, right? Yeah, modification station is ready to go. So let's put it, can we put it in this corner, maybe? Please, let me put it in a sensible place like that. I guess, I guess we can just put it here. Let me make sure it's as centered and straight on this little pad as possible, because this can be obnoxious. Okay. Sue me for being a bit of a perfectionist about <laughs> about placing this stuff. Okay. We can definitely make some cooler things now. The first thing I need to do is I need some extra air capacity. And I already have everything I need in order to make that happen. High capacity tank. Here we come. It's going to be easier to stay underwater for longer now. Because, let me show you. Oh, look, you can see the oxygen meter. It's, it's no longer at 75, it's at 105. So we have approximately 50% more. And then also the ultra glide uh, fins are what I need as well. And it looks like I'm ready for those too. Great news. All right, let's... I have everything I need. This is one of the easiest upgrades I've, I've ever done in Subnautica. It's all in my inventory already. So now the ultra glide fins will make our basic swim speed even faster. That we can build a propulsion cannon as well, which I don't feel as much of a need for that yet. The thermal blade is really nice to have when you're fighting against stalkers because it will just kill people. It's basically a, a, a red lightsaber underwater. Um, 
Ah, uh, why the hell not? <laughs> let's let's do it. Yeah. Now, of course, this thing can wear out the same way that a uh, standard blade can, so it doesn't last forever. But it sure is awesome when you do have it. So on that note, I am go away. I'm gonna go ahead and step outside. We need to get more creep vine. Notice how fast I'm swimming, even without my glider. Pretty nice. Oh, there goes my power source. Need to get some additional creep vine. This is just for the. This is all I'm getting this for is for the bioreactor. If you're wondering why I'm picking up the stuff I'm picking up. All right, so that's that. Now, that's right. Put all that there, and we're good to go. Now, what was I going to build? Oh, yes. I can build a desk. <laughs> so we're going to have a desk kind of overlooking this edge here. And I can also have a chair. I'm going to stand up on top of the desk and make the chair happen. I'm going to put it right there and see if I can sit down, maybe. Not enough space to sit. Of course there's not. Alright, so we're going to deconstruct it. One of the more awkward things about Subnautica right now, but it's okay. Tell you what, let's put it at like an angle to where it's not like right up against the desk, but maybe it'll give us more space to sit. So let's put it that way. All right, go away. Yay, I can sit. Now we can look out that way while we're sitting at our desk. <laughs> so right now, it's it, all this stuff is purely cosmetic. It makes it kind of Sims-like. You know, you're just kind of building an environment uh, in which to live, uh, which is kind of cool. So I was just fulfilling that uh, I was scratching that itch getting that taken care of now let me is there, no, is there anything else here I think I looked through everything I really needed to do with this yeah I did I could technically carry a second um, I could carry a second tank a second high capacity tank and I would have 210 oxygen units and I would be able to swim for that long um, but it would have to sit in my inventory which really drastically affects my ability to do anything else, really. So, um, to, to really get resources and, and all kinds of stuff. So, actually, you know what, with this lithium, there's one thing I could do right now. Let's, let's see, it needs I need two titanium. I picked up some lithium in a previous episode, I think, or maybe earlier in this one, but using lithium I can actually reinforce start to reinforce some of the areas of the base so we're gonna reinforce this and this will give us additional hull points to continue strengthening the base see that adds plus seven it's ridiculous so finding more lithium soon will be a big priority I'm gonna need more food soon too put that away where's the sub there it is All right, where can we... I'm feeling... I'm feeling like exploring. The hidden caves are that direction. They're actually, they're right there. The silver caves are that direction. I should fully explore those at some point, especially now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's visit the silver caves again and see if we can find any additional silver. Because it's very easy to get to them now, since we have the... Oh, hey, 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 what are you? What are you? Mobile Vehicle Bay Fragment. Okay, I already have the Mobile Vehicle Bay. Okay, those two pieces right there might contain silver. No, that's limestone. I'm guessing this is limestone too. Yep, so just titanium there. Unfortunate. But we are right around the corner from the silver cave, so I'm going to start swimming around. Because I can. <laughs> right, so 
wants. Oh, we need to exchange the power source on this thing. Oh, crap. We actually don't... Son of a... Where are you? Gotcha. Yeah, you better leave me alone, you jerk. Let me get back to my sub. I don't have any batteries. I've run out of batteries. I made them, but then they went into the creation of Welcome some of my power aboard, cells. Captain. Jerk. Alright, so we need to make batteries. The sun's coming up, too. Right, so I'm going to head this way. There's our base camp. And I think I have all I need. Let me stop here for some acid mushrooms really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not even counting anymore. There's just so many. Good lord. Twenty, actually. The game is counting for me. Totally forgot about that. Just picked up twenty acid mushrooms. So, I think I have some copper as well. So that should be all I need to make a bunch of batteries for all my stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep, there's the copper that I have. I actually thought I had more copper than that. What do I have in here? Nothing. It's just a backup locker. I haven't put anything in yet. Alright, so... Batteries. Let's go ahead and make those. Problem solved. And now... Exchange that battery. Keep scrolling accidentally because this it uses the scroll wheel now to scroll through. Okay, so that situation is somewhat resolved. I do want to go ahead and put up the old batteries though. I'll be able to recharge these later, but I can't right now. Let me go ahead and put these acid mushrooms up because I don't need all of them, but I can use them later. This decomposing cooked pepper is useless to me. Do I have water, though? No, I do not have water. Well, that is unfortunate, but I'll live with it. I'm going to hop in the Seamoth, and we're going to go back, because I do want to finish exploring the Silver Caves. That was my objective before I realized that I really didn't have a light source, which, when you're cave diving, it's kind of important to have a light source. All right, so we're going to do this. All right, there's the entrance to the Silver Caves. Hop out of our sub. You, come here. I need you. I need you. Thank you. If I just ate you right now, what would it do? <laughs> okay, that answers the question. It would actually reduce my water holding. It would hurt my thirst meter. All right, so here's my beacon. Didn't recognize the beacon for a second. I was like, is that some kind of new creature? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, this is copper. That's good. So I might just find some copper down here. Which is fine. I mean, I saw lots of rocks that I didn't get a chance to break open before. And I just want to make sure I've fully explored this area. Because this, I discovered this... Uh, Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. Thank you for interrupting me. I discovered this, what, like three or four episodes back? And... Maybe more than that, but I just wanted to make sure that I've really swam through everything here because there were just so many rocks everywhere. And it seems like a pretty extensive little system. Or I guess maybe it's not. I guess I'm eating my words as I talk. Alright, there's some gold and some silver at least. Now it looks like this is the beginning of another biome over here. I need to make more uh, beacons, don't I? So that I can note the location of things like this. But I can put my flashlight away. Don't need that. Limestone, copper, very good. Lead. Notice how much air I still have. Thirty seconds. Thanks to this new tank. Remaining. It's awesome. Sandstone, more silver, perfect. Limestone, more titanium. Okay, I guess I'll surface. Also notice how fast I'm swimming on account of those new fins that I upgraded. So things are just, things are good now. Because my, my ability to just swim free-handedly without even using the glider uh, has increased tremendously. 
Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to look around for a bit. Not even using the Sea Glide, or the uh, Sea Moth, or the Sea Glide for that matter. See, there's a piece of technology I haven't scanned yet. Let's pay that a visit. We can avoid this, this creature. What's it called? What are you called? Sand shark, that's what it is. Not why did I always think it was sea lion? I can finish scanning you. Almost done. There we go. Got a sand shark entry, so we can learn more about them later. You finally coming after me? No. <gasps> hey! Battery charger fragment. Perfect. Okay, we got one of three pieces of that. That's some good news right there. Because I need that. And that might be some silver. If I'm lucky enough. That's limestone, so... Not silver, but still... Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Looking for technology that I haven't scanned yet. I don't see any, but I'll keep looking. Because there should be some more in this area. Time to surface. See, I don't even need to use my sea glide right now. It's fantastic. Emergency. Ten seconds of I do remaining. need to drink, though. And I'll need to eat pretty soon as well. So, I am going to go ahead and cut this episode Emergency. here. Severe I, I... dehydration detected. Seek fluid intake immediately. Okay, so there's not a way to turn those off. <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of it. I guess I, I guess having the warning would be good if I ever wasn't paying attention to it, but I'm tired of getting interrupted with it. But I will go ahead and cut this episode here, and the next one I'm going to continue looking for um, some resources, particularly pieces of the battery modification station, so that I can recharge. That's, oh my god, that's so cool. I can recharge the stuff that I have. Um, it's completely new uh, for the power map update, um, so I'm looking forward to having that ability. But uh, right now, <laughs> in the beginning of the next episode, you're going to see me racing back toward my base camp so that I can actually get some water. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in Into the Locker every day at 6 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT-4 for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in a bit.